Hello, it's Dr. Frank Hahn, board member of the Garden State Chiropractic Society. So welcome to the GSCS Straight to You Practice Building Tip of the Month. Uh, today I want to talk with you about two things, two items. Ideal client and target market. So ideal client, this is the person who is in your office that you get inspired to see when they come walking through the doors. Now it could be a family or it could be an individual person, but you just get jazzed up a little bit more than when they, when somebody else walks in. So that's your ideal client. That's who you resonate with the most. Uh, I would strongly, strongly suggest trying to identify who your ideal clients are. I would go as far as creating what's called an avatar. An avatar is just a description of all the qualities that your ideal client has. And now, I know it's easy to say off the top of your head, well, my ideal client is everyone. It is your spine with a life force type of person. Well, I understand why you're saying that, because chiropractic can benefit everyone, but that's not your ideal client. That's not your ideal person who you want in the office. One, we cannot see everybody in the entire world as an individual. That is great for the profession and we should strive for those uh, to see every man, woman, and child on the planet. But in your office, you're limited uh, in the amount of people that you can see. You have uh, a time capacity. So we want to identify who our ideal client is because that who is going to, when they come walking in our office, is going to just pump us up and, and we get passionate about that. We love when they come in. And that's who you want to identify. So here's how that could possibly help. Uh, identify the 10 most ideal people that you like to see come walking in throughout the week. Uh, and if you say, well, I don't have 10, <laughs> well, then do five. But try to go for 10 because 10 is a, um, a bigger number. It's going to give us more um, characteristics of our ideal base. Uh, so once you identify those 10 people, I want you to say, what do they all have in common? Uh, are they married? Is it a husband and wife? It, do they have children? Uh, do they come in as a family or do they come in as individuals? Uh, so, so those are some of the things that you want to identify with. Where do they hang out? Where do they create community? Uh, what do they do on a Saturday night? Uh, do they overlap? Do those people have commonalities? Those are the things that you want to identify. Once you identify the top 10 people that walk into your office, I think it's going to be good if you identify the bottom 10 too, and let's maybe not say the bottom 10, but the, the least desira desirable people that walk into your office. Here's the main reason why. Uh, I'm going to call these people the duds, all right, just because they're the duds. Now, it doesn't mean that they're bad people, by no means, but it just means that they're not inspiring you. And I don't know about you, but when I'm at my office, I'm, I'm fired up, I'm pumped up, I love to be inspired. And when those people come walking to the office that inspire me, it goes even to another level. And then I do have some folks who come in that are my energy drainers, my time vampires, time vultures, whatever you want to call them, but I'm calling them the duds. Here's what I would do is I would try to find them a new home. Uh, I would say, okay, uh, person, uh, I'm going, I think you'll resonate better with this particular chiropractor and, and see if they want to go. Now, that might si sound counterintuitive because we're trying to do practice building here, but what you need to do is um, create some time for yourself so you can bring in more of those ideals because once we move on from ideal client, we're going to talk about target market. So at Actually, let's move right into target market. So you have your ideal client. You created an avatar list of all the commonalities of your top 10 people. You also identified the duds and, and the ones that you might want to remove so you can add more space, more time to create more opportunities to see those ideal people. So target market is where your ideal clients hang out. Uh, where do your ideal clients hang out? And you gotta either do a list, a survey, ask them. Uh, you might know this already because if you if they're hanging out, you might know that, and you can 
market there. That, that's where you want to go to market. So examples are, let's say your ideal client uh, shops at Trader Joe's. Uh, now, Trader Joe's is a great store. I love it. Um, uh, maybe more people in your base shop at Trader Joe's too. Now you're going to start to see a pattern. Well, that's a place that you might want to market. Promote. Cross promote, promote. Let's talk about that in one second. Cross promoting. I'll tell you how to do that in, in a second. That'll be a bonus category. Let's say your ideal client goes to the movies every single week. Well, then you might want to market your business at the local movie theater because if your ideal client goes there every single week, it's a no-brainer. You want to be in front of your ideal client. Uh, so here's how that cross promote might work. Uh, you would walk into Trader Joe's and, and talk with the manager of Trader Joe's or some of the employees. Um, it doesn't have to be the manager. It could be an associate. And you just tell them, you know, I have a lot of your customers in my office as my patients, practice members, clients, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and my ideal client is a customer of yours. I think we should cross promote. Now you're having a conversation with the general manager about marketing. It happens that easy. It's, it's that simple. Now you can do some projects with the person. You can leave business cards. You can do a little something in their facility. You can take their flyers or whatever they want to give to you, maybe a, a, a tray of goods and, and bring it to your office. And, and your ideal clients are going to like it because they go to Trader Joe's. They're at Trader Joe's. Uh, so. That's why it's a good fit. If they were not your ideal clients, they would not be there. Uh, so, or And you would not be there either. Uh, so you have to find out where your ideal clients are. Uh, so we talked about ideal client. We talked about target market. We even talked about cross-promoting. That, that's your bonus uh, for this tip. Uh, I'm Dr. Frank Hahn with your practice building tip of the month. Uh, Remember, the Garden State Chiropractic Society is having their annual convention next month. It's on April 22nd and 23rd. It's 17 CE credits already pre-approved. Uh, so that's awesome. If you want to learn more about that, go to our website, GardenStateChiropractic.org. That's GardenStateChiropractic.org. And you can learn more about our annual convention. If you want to maybe even hear more about this, uh, contact one of the board members and we'll be glad to put on a quarterly event for you. We have them uh, three or four times a year, uh, some for CE credits, some for not. Uh, and I'll be glad to even talk more about this ideal client target market strategy. Have a great one. See you soon.